Hello and welcome to the Cyber One YouTube channel. My name is Ray, and in this video, uh, Inmove i2 head or version 2 head of the Inmove robot part 8. So, in the last uh, part of this series, we successfully uh, or mostly successfully managed to cast our mask. Uh, so, I've got this currently change the sliding level I've currently got this sitting on the inner part of the mold uh, I did damage that inner part of the mold while I was pulling it apart so I've given it a bit of a, a light coat of paint spray paint uh, just to help bring out and make the mask more visible on the camera so in the last video after casting I did cut the uh, mouth open so that it can open and close which is going to be important when the robot is talking. Uh, I did discover one of the ears. I did damage it while I was pulling it out. A bit hard to see there, but it is separated. And there's a very minor one on the other ear as well. But I've got to repair those and attach the magnets. Now there's a few ways of doing it, uh, there were two types of glues that were suggested for attaching the magnets to the mask, uh, one was called uh, Silpox, uh, which I can't get in Australia, uh, the other one was Dow Corning 732 I think it was, uh, which I can probably get, but I, I did find it on eBay, it's not at the local hardware. But another method that's available is to actually mix up a small batch of the resin, not the resin, the silicon, and literally paint where the magnets are going and on over the top of the magnet so it gets encapsulated. And I can use that to repair the silicon as well with the damage. When I was pulling the mask off, I did damage a section up here. So I'll have a go at trying to fix that while I'm at it and see if we can't get that uh, so that it looks a little bit better so with all that in mind I've got my little tub that I used last time I'll turn on my scales and I'm only going to mix up a small amount So once this is in, we've got, or once the second part goes in, we've got uh, 30 minutes of hot light. 25 grams. So if I add another 25 grams of this and mix it together, that'll give us a total of 50 grams. And that should be more than enough. 50 grams exactly. Now I did find these little paddle pop sticks that I sometimes use for painting but I've got this spoon that I used last time it worked really well I didn't think I'd mixed it enough but it all appears to have set okay it's still a little bit tacky to touch but, and Gael did say baby powder will remove that tackiness but I don't want to do that until after I've done the repairs and attach the magnets so I'm going to attach or well, actually I'll do my repairs first so I've got a little spot up here I have got a brush here that I'm going to use and I'll paint paint it here let's start with this one down the bottom this is not going to hold easily Now the magnets are a 10 millimeter diameter. The recommended is 1.5 mil thick. I've only got one mil, that's all I could get. These are an N52. Now I've gone through a mark south or, or an S on each of them, but it doesn't really take that well. So while that joins, and I might just touch up this other one over the other side, while they're setting, I'm going to take these and 
attach the magnets now I'm going to attach them with the south facing down because I've only marked the south and what I'm going to do first is put a little bit of this silicon compound inside the holes and that will hopefully hold magnets quite well I've got way more than I need first one in that's our right hand side now let's repeat now I think I mentioned in the, at the end of the last video that I did have a degree of elephant's foot and it still exists on the outside here I did trim this out and because I know these are a 10 mil diameter I've got this 10 millimeter wood drill and I'm just checking to make sure that the shank will go into the hole before I attempt this so I've actually used a knife to clean out the elephant's foot now I'm just going to buy some more of this rubber silicon rubber again the south pointing down make sure when you're trying to push these magnets down that you're not using a metal tool um, the magnets have a tendency to stick to those so pushing them down they tend to pull back out again so I'm using this wooden tool and it's fighting me all the way so these actually line up quite nicely and will hold the magnets in place so what we're going to do is on the other side of the face we're going to put these in and try and hold our magnet in there and this is going to be easier said than done now in this case our S is going to be facing up okay so that's all the magnets attached I did glue this up and we'll see how it looks in four hours time when it's had time to set all right I'll see you in four hours okay so I've attached a heap of magnets uh, I used uh, the silicon another batch very small batch to actually cover over the magnets and try and hold them in place that was semi successful I have discovered an issue though in the inner mold parts the inner one and the outer parts there was provision in the version that's currently on the InMove website for magnets around the chin on the mask but on the version I have which is listed as version 1 as well they are not present so that's a bit of an issue uh, I am trying to just glue magnets into place and hold them with magnets on the other side until it's all set and we'll see how we go I still got to add a couple of magnets down the bottom when I figure out exactly where they go uh, the other issue I found is there is a new version of the eyebrows which actually stand out further than these ones do closer to the same level as the um, I suppose you'd call it the forehead part if um, yeah I'm guessing it's called the forehead part 
I'll have to uh, have another look at that. I also discovered that the mounts that carry the eyeballs uh, and the upper lip servo, there's a new version of that out as well. So I've got a few more parts that I've now got to reprint and replace on this to make it all work. So between now and the next video, I'll start printing those parts out. I did, however, while I was waiting, got to be careful moving this around, uh, paint my irises for thread. And you can see those in there now. So the new parts for the eyebrows, you can see these are actually set much lower than what they are in some of the photos that Gael has shown on his website. So I'm looking at those version 3 parts and I think they stand out much higher to actually make contact. The cheek pullers down the bottom here are the same. There's now a version 3 of those and they come out further to actually make contact with the silicon mask. So with that in mind, I've got some parts I need to print out now. But I can show you, give you a rough idea of what this is going to look like. So say hello to Fred with his new mask. I think I can use this mask anyway. Uh, the parts that I've got to replace, I think uh, is pushing this cheek out a bit too far. That's one part. And the cheek pullers, you can see they're all the way back in here. They will come out further. And then the eyebrows are sitting way back. So that will need to be redone. But I think he's looking quite good with those few little modifications that I've got to make. And I may still be able to use this face mask. Otherwise, I'll be printing everything else and starting again. That'll do for this video. If you like these videos, don't forget to click on like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. The form of support that helps the channel a great deal and costs you absolutely nothing. If you'd like to support the channel further, I do have a Patreon account, and you can join my patrons, VIP, Go Lucky, All Access, Jeff Jurd, and my builder patrons, Al Morales 45, Andrew Cardone, and Habish in helping to support the channel. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or drop into the Discord. There will be links to my Discord as well as that for the official InMove Discord and the My Robot Lab Discord. And someone in one of those Discords will most likely have your answers. And we'll see you in the next video.